swings off the turn and into the stretch. SPOA final three-year-old Philly Pacers picking up speed. They're often pacing in a good beginning in the center. Odds on Platinum marching off the car. Outside of her drives better with glasses. Coming up into the mix is Sorsha Sealster there third. Coco Jojo made a break at the rail. Coco Jojo is the one who is on the run going into that first turn. So out to take the top, it's odds on Platinum again. Into the pocket, better with glasses. Popped out of third, Sorsha Sealster. She's aggressively handled tonight, third outside and driving. 26 and one that opening quarter. On the move with cover, it's a love thing into fourth and she too much more aggressively handled tonight. Outside comes pass line, marching now fifth into fourth. So tons of action as they head up towards the three eighths marker. It's a love thing, we'll find the front. Sorsha Sealster back into second soon to be third as pass line is up and driving pass line finds the front pass line takes over the lead back into second it's a love thing Maneri trainees one two through a 54 and four half in this SBOA final it's Sorsha Sealster third odds on platinum is fourth inside advancing overland fifth now comes in trapped in six better with glasses seventh and on the move comes wicked weather and Sorsha Sealster is out and driving again field goes to three quarters odds on platinum was able to sneak out too and she's revved up on cover they go to three quarters chasing pass line pass line in front feeling pressure as Sorsha Sealster comes to her now three quarters in 123 and one and on that lead it's pass line on the outside Sorsha Sealster odds on platinum in a three wide path in at the rail it's it's a love thing crying out for some racetrack pass line is on that lead it's a love thing looking for the inside lane she gets it late and it's a love thing finds that pylon squeeze lane to win the SBOA state final does so in 149 and four. And on that lead, it's pass line. On the outside, Sorsha Sealster. Odds on platinum in a three-wide path. In at the rail, it's it's a love thing, crying out for some racetrack. Pass line is on that lead. It's a love thing, looking for the inside lane. She gets it late. And it's a love thing, finds that pylon squeeze lane to win the SBOA state final. Does so in 149-4. You're back to Victory Lane, capturing the SBOA final is five. It's a love thing. A three-year-old betters delight Philly out of the Captain Treacherous Mare. Love for sale. Owned by Eric Good, Thomas Biederman, Josh Green, and Rich Lombardo Racing. Dave Maneri trains. James McDonald, the winning reinsman. Her first win this year. This in the heels of a 6-for-12 campaign last season. Pacing the mile tonight. She goes sub-150 with that 149 and four performance to capture the SBOA stake final. Representing the SBOA, congratulations. Shortly after this raining, pouring, boring, boring, boring night, what a race that was, boys. Congratulations, I got the winning connections of It's a Love Thing and Pass Line. Um, while not, you're not part of Pass Line just now, but uh, I do have the uh, trainer, Dave Maneri, with me. So we're going to start with you, Dave. You had to be absolutely ecstatic with the way that those two fillies raced tonight. Oh, I was happy the way they both raced last week, too. Uh, there's not very many times in their career they've ever let me down. Um, you know, it's nice to be involved with both these fillies. But, uh, you know, the draw come out, and it was a perfect draw for both of them. And, and uh, you know, they were racing the night. You know, there was all three fillies, you know, really racing. It was an exciting race. Did you expect a mile in 49 and change? Yeah, you know, numbers of two went 50, you know, last night. You know, it's the time of year. You know, uh, there's no place to hide. Everybody's broke out the sports cars, and, you know, they're going to go fast. You know, especially when they go for money, they're going to go fast. Um, so we've seen uh, both those Phillies race fantastic tonight. Everything comes out of the uh, race good and everything. Where do we expect to see these two come next? Um, you know, for now, I think uh, we're just going to aim for the next Sire Stakes, and, you know, the Fan Hanover's coming up shortly right here at home. Um, it's a lot of things dual eligible, so we'll maybe think about that later on down the road, but I'm a one day at a time kind of guy. Perfect. Congratulations, Dave. Thanks, man. Okay, James, any tense moments out there? <laughs> yeah, I mean, always tense moments. Uh, 
but when you got a great horse, it, it kind of takes the uh, nervousness out of out of the situation. I know if I could get some daylight somewhere, I was probably probably uh, going to give me a good run. She, she's uh, she's got a lot of bad trips in her life and overcome pretty much all of them. So uh, when she gets a good one, she makes no mistake. Now, I mean, so many times in my career, um, sometimes you do that pylon skim and it doesn't work because they won't go in there. You know, you'll point them there, it acts like they're gonna go in there, but then once they get there and they see them pylons, they kinda, now she obviously has the one eye. What's she like to drive? Last year, it was a bit of a challenge. Dave and I, uh, early on, we were having some steering issues and uh, it, it kinda took a few starts to get it, get get her the way we wanted her and uh, since then it's, she's just been a Cadillac you know uh, you said they look at the pylons she definitely wasn't looking at them tonight so uh, she can't see them or no she can see on that side I guess so uh, but uh, she's just a great horse um, she always gives you a good kick and, and I expect big big things from her this year and quickly while we have you here too Willie's home run what's your thoughts on her I thought she raced terrific you know uh, that's it's early in the year um, she, it's it, it's her uh, handiness is almost like a curse sometimes because she's she just dropped drop of the hat right now a speed but uh, I floated out off the gate and there was lots going on and I, I elected to just uh, take control and I got stung doing it and it, it's just that last 20 feet it caught, caught up to her but uh, he a heck of an effort and uh, you know she's just a great horse you're going to see her in the winter circle, circle lots this summer looking forward to next week thank you very much Awesome. Take care. James McDonald, Dave Maneri, winning connections of It's a Love Thing.